Hi guys, here we have two handheld ultrasound devices that we are going to compare. The first one is the Butterfly IQ. And this one is the Yuki Q7. Now let's take a look at the differences between these two models. Firstly, you can see that the Butterfly IQ is bigger than the Yuki Q7. The Butterfly IQ is also heavier, with it being 310 grams. Whereas the Yuki Q7 is around 160 grams. So, Butterfly IQ is much heavier than the Yuki Q7. The shape and size of the Butterfly IQ is also a bit awkward to handle, with the device being heavier towards the back. The Yuki Q7, however, sits nicely in the hand and also does not have added pull from the cable. As mentioned before, you can see that the Butterfly IQ still has a cable and this is the only way of connecting it to your device. The Yuki Q7, however, has no cable and can connect to any device using its wireless connection. Overall, therefore, the Yuki Q7 offers more flexibility. Now we will compare the image quality and abilities of the two devices. First is the Butterfly IQ. You can see that the preset is abdomen and the mode is B mode. You can also see that you can only change the depth, the TGC and the gain. You therefore don't have a lot of choices in order to optimize your own presets. All the settings are limited within certain parameters. With the Yuki Q7 on the other hand, there are many options that you can change. These are all the presets that are provided to you. This offers you far more flexibility and specificity further allowing you to save any presets you make to the probe. As you can see, the Butterfly IQ is already producing a message stating that the probe will reach its heat limit soon. The probe has only been in use for around 50 minutes. Therefore, the continual use time for the Butterfly IQ is around 50 minutes. The Yuki Q7, on the other hand, can be used continually for over four hours. The Yuki Q7 is also less hot to the touch than the Butterfly IQ, with the heat of the Butterfly IQ still climbing. The heat here, particularly, is very high already, meaning this could be a potential risk of this device during use. In the Yuki Q7, however, as these two parts are separate, this keeps the transducer head cool. The Yuki Q7 also uses a lower power consumption, meaning the heat is controlled better than that of the Butterfly IQ. Due to the Butterfly IQ having reached too high a temperature, the scanning has stopped. You would be able to continue scanning once the cooling is complete, however, Having to wait for the probe to cool down may present problems in daily practice.